As a general rule, IP addresses don't just spring to life of their own accord, let alone millions of IP addresses at once. Huge chunks of IP addresses owned by the US military were being funneled into an unknown private company's zone of control in Florida. Why was this private company in Florida that no one's ever heard of suddenly in control of more very valuable IP addresses than any other company on Earth? Well, that's the multi-million dollar question. Hey, I'm Rob Witcher. In this video series, we explore some of the biggest cybersecurity breaches in modern history. If you find cybersecurity as fascinating as I do, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications when we release new videos. We'll be back. Three simple words, and the last spoken by the now ex-president of the United States, Donald Trump, as he left office on January 20th, 2021. Summing up that his four-year legacy as POTUS was coming to an only temporary end. This was a fairly tumultuous time for the US, a period that caused already bitter divisions between left and right-wing folks to grow even wider. News outlets were chasing the story of the great election robbery, that Trump was going to have his day in court to provide his self-proclaimed fire hose of evidence supporting election fraud. There was nothing in the news, however, about a secret transfer of a massive number of IP addresses from the Pentagon to an unknown private company. Just three minutes before President-elect Joe Biden took office, a gigantic swath of US military-owned IP addresses were transferred to Global Resource Systems LLC zone of control. Never heard of Global Resource Systems LLC? You're not the only one. As of January 30th, 56 million IP addresses have been transferred to this mysterious Florida-based company. And by this time, internet security watchdogs had taken notice. Was this a foreign attack? Was Global Resource Systems LLC owned by a group of hackers or a foreign surveillance agency? Were these unused IP addresses being sold off to generate government revenue? Nobody knew. Speculation was becoming rife amongst network administrators and the internet industry as a whole. Inquiries by watchdogs and media outlets remained unanswered by the Pentagon, who refused to acknowledge the transfer or offer any explanation as to why control of the IP addresses were being shifted from in-house military control administration to a completely unknown private company. The major transfer of IP addresses had now stopped. Though the Pentagon still owned the IP addresses, Global Resource Systems LLC had control over the traffic that was bound for the IP addresses. The number of IP addresses shifted over was now nearly 175 million. To put that into perspective, this is the equivalent of 6% of all publicly accessible internet IP addresses. That is a huge part of the global internet addresses being transferred to a mysterious company. And these IP addresses are worth a small fortune. IP version 4 addresses, as we'll talk about shortly, are very limited. They are highly sought after, and people are willing to pay a lot of money for a single IP address, let alone 175 million of them. This momentous transfer of IP addresses was the largest since Border Gateway Protocol was introduced in 1989. With the transfer of 170 million IP addresses, Global Resource Systems LLC now had control over more addresses than any other organization in the history of the internet according to network monitoring companies. As you can imagine, Global Resource Systems LLC was continually being contacted for comment at this point, to no reply. And when a reporter arrived at their Florida address, the company was not listed under the building occupant register. And a receptionist that handled the shared workspace asked the reporter to leave. Very friendly welcome. Finally, an answer. This historical transfer of IP addresses was the handiwork of the Defense Digital Services, the DDS a relatively unknown elite Pentagon unit that answers directly to the US Secretary of Defense. Their director, Brad Goldstein, had authorized this unit to undertake a pilot effort publicizing the IP assets owned and operated by the Pentagon. The aim was to assess and evaluate cybersecurity of the Department of Defense IP address space in the hopes of preventing any unauthorized use of these IP addresses. It seems the project is just one of many secretive undertakings that make up an effort to continually improve the cyber posture and defense of the US military against ever advancing technology and cyber risks. This is a weird story and one that has a few moving parts. The motives of DDS are relatively unclear and their response only raises more questions. So let's take a look at what and who are involved here. An IP, or Internet Protocol Address, is a unique number or a unique identifier for a device on the internet. 
You can think of an IP address as a mailing address. If you want to send a letter to someone, you need to know that person's address, and their address needs to be unique in the world. An IP address is made up of four separate numbers that can range from a value of 0 to 255. So the theoretical IP address space ranges from 0.0.0 all the way up to 255.255.255.255, and every number in between. That means there are a total number of 2 to the power of 32 possible IP addresses, or 4,294,967,296 unique IP addresses. But large blocks of the IP version 4 address space are reserved for various reasons like private network ranges. For reference, the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, IANA, is a standards organization that oversees global IP address allocation. And IANA is the division of the Corporations for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, which is a nonprofit organization founded by the US federal government. The DDS, the Defense Digital Service, was created in 2015, and the organization is tasked with implementing technological updates within the US government, including improving national online security. They're a team of self-proclaimed highly technical nerds, 82 smart engineers, data scientists, and computer scientists. As we touched on, they report directly to the Secretary of Defense, and they're able to leap into action at a moment's notice to address and respond to any cyber threats to national security. In short, the DDS is a SWAT team of nerds. <gasps> I'm a nerd! <gasps> so am I! They are tasked with identifying vulnerabilities in the government systems and mitigating those threats. In recent years, they've carried out a wide range of special projects. Related to our story here, they were responsible for the massive volume of IP addresses being transferred from the government to a private company, Global Resources LLC. No one really knows. Seriously, they are a total mystery organization with zero history of managing IP addresses, let alone the single largest collection of IP addresses in the world. Global Resource Systems LLC was founded in September 2020. They have no public website, nor do they have any publicly advertised federal contracts. As I've mentioned, their listed address is in a building comprised of floors of shared office space. The company is not listed in the building directory, and the secretary in charge of the shared office space was tight-lipped when asked to comment and divulged nothing. So basically they're a shell company, a government created and owned corporation for the purposes of this DDS initiative. That's the speculation of the industry anyways. All we know for sure is that the Border Gateway Protocol BGP lists these 175 million government owned IP addresses as open and for all the traffic to be routed through Global Resource Systems LLC. BGP is a bit like the postal service of the internet. In the same way as a mailman walks down the street and puts letters in mailboxes according to the address listed on them, BGP analyzes all the possible paths that data can flow along through the internet and picks between hundreds of thousands of smaller networks known as autonomous systems to form a path between where the data has been sent from and where it has to go. It's literally the system that makes the internet work. When data needs to be sent from one IP address to another, the large pool of routers, the networks of networks that make up these autonomous systems, is used to forward outbound transmission of data to its desired location. And BGP is the protocol that figures this out. The Pentagon has stated that Global Resource Systems LLC is being used in a pilot effort to evaluate the Department of Defense IP address space and ensure there are no potential vulnerabilities. The assumption in the industry is this. Many of the 175 million IP addresses that were transferred have been dormant for years or even decades. Unused by the Pentagon, it is highly likely that some, maybe even many, of these IP addresses were being used by shady individuals on the internet for less than savory purposes. By opening up and announcing the addresses through Global Resource Systems LLC, all traffic using these government-owned IP addresses would now, as we've mentioned, officially be routed to Global Resources Systems LLC. By doing this, accidental misconfigurations linking government-owned IP addresses to third parties can be identified and fixed. But also, dormant IP addresses that may have been hijacked and used for more nefarious purposes would have their activities uncovered by the Department of Defense and potentially tracked back to the source. For example, some of these 175 million government IP addresses might be being used to send spam and phishing emails. 
Apart from their short statement, neither the Department of Defense nor the DDS would comment further on why they would use such a private company to control these government-owned IP addresses, nor why there was a lack of visibility or transparency with the public about this operation. They maintained that this was a way to more effectively manage the Pentagon's cyber resources and allocating the dormant IP addresses to users if and when the government wants to bring them to use. To quote Brett Goldstein, if you can't see it, you can't defend it. So we've gone from a hidden government cyber initiative looking like a mounting foreign attack or a very questionable sale of billions of dollars worth of IP addresses to a semi-plausible explanation of added cybersecurity. What is for certain is that this transfer of IP addresses was done on a truly gargantuan scale, the equivalent of 6% of the total volume of IP addresses on the internet. It's a feat that has never been accomplished before and is unlikely to be accomplished again anytime soon. The likely reason for this transfer is to allow the US government to capture vast amounts of data being sent to these IP addresses and expose the activities of black hat hackers and other foreign and sketchy actors. But why was this done in the very final few minutes of the Trump administration? Only time will tell. If you found this video interesting, then please hit the thumbs up button and let us know in the comments below what breaches you want us to cover in future videos. See you in the next one.